Hi, Zena Harris here. I'm just going to take inspiration from Rachel Maddow. I'm just going to wear black every time I do a video. So, okay, today uh, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, what I think is a barrier for a lot of folks is sustainability being this sort of overwhelming concept and sustainable production is something that seems like, you know, there's so much to do. The checklist is so long. I don't know how we're going to do it. And so it tends to be pushed aside or just, you know, get some recycling bins in and we're good. And I just want to say that it can be so much more than that. So much, um, of a focused concept that um, maybe it'll help to relieve some of the anxiety around getting through the checklist and doing, you know, the 80 or so things that um, one thinks they have to do. Really what we're after with sustainable production is lowering the overall footprint of production. So what does that mean? If you could take a couple of things to focus on, one would be reducing the fuel consumption on production. So that means like uh, using hybrid or electric vehicles and using equipment that is battery powered or plugging into the grid. Um, if you can plug into the grid when you're on location, uh, that is one of the easiest, you know, low hanging fruit items that, that can be done. So that is, those couple of things are a way to reduce fuel consumption. The second one is related to that. And that is, um, just, uh, electrifying the, the equipment and, um, and any, any aspect of production that you can. So, um, reducing the natural gas, consumption um, and plugging in uh, using battery power or um, grid power for catering trucks. That's a big thing as well. Not only do these actions reduce the fuel consumption, but they also eliminate the carbon emissions and improve the air quality. So folks aren't getting headaches when they're hanging out by the generator or in a catering truck, stuff like that. So if you can only do a couple of things, those would be the, the key things to focus on because recent data has come out from the Sustainable Production Alliance that shows that fuel and um, electricity are two key areas to focus on. And fuel is like half of um, a production's carbon footprint. So you know, the checklists are wonderful. And if you can do many things and you don't get overwhelmed by that, wonderful. But if you are going to focus on a couple of things, really hone in on that fuel consumption and um, electricity use and see if you can master those. Do those really well across all departments in whatever way makes sense for your production. And I think focusing on that is going to really go a long way toward making sustainability a little more palatable and um, a way to, you know, reduce the overall carbon footprint of production.